The Protean Plastideca cell consists of the tank, lid, gasket assemblies, buffer recirculation pump, manifold, plate electrodes, drain port, and ceramic cooling core. Each of these components will be discussed in detail. Also included are the buffer exhaust tube, which connects the lid of the Dodeca cell to the buffer recirculation pump. 11 pieces of manifold tubing for running shorter plates like the Protean tube precast or handcast gels. Gel releasers, hose clamps, and extension tubing that connects to the drain port. Before using the cell for the first time, remove the gasket assemblies and rinse them in the tank thoroughly with distilled water to remove residual powder. To replace the gasket assemblies in the proper orientation, make sure the side with the rubber gaskets are placed so that the gaskets are facing outward toward the plate electrodes. There are two configurations for the gasket assemblies. The outer grooves are used for longer plates, such as the Protean Plus precast or handcast gels, while the inner grooves are used for shorter plates, such as the Protean 2 precast or handcast gels. The buffer recirculation pump is the key component of the buffer recirculation pathway. To set up the pathway, connect the tubing extending from the bottom of the cell with the tubing extending from the right side of the pump. Take the buffer exhaust tube and connect it to the tubing on the other side of the pump. Insert the quick connect fitting into the manifold located on the lid of the Dodeca cell. The buffer recirculation pathway is now complete. A refrigerated circulator is required for optimal results and works in conjunction with the buffer recirculation system to provide efficient cooling. The Protean Plus Dodeca cell has a built-in ceramic cooling core that must be connected to a refrigerated circulator that can maintain the buffer temperature at 18 to 20 degrees Celsius during electrophoresis. 3 eighths of an inch ID tubing can be connected from these fittings to the inlet and outlet on the circulator. The Protean Plus Dodeca cell has a drain port that allows quick and easy drainage of buffer. Simply attach the provided extension tubing to the drain port and place a receiving vessel below the cell to catch the buffer. Open the valve when you are ready to drain the buffer. When running shorter gels such as the Protean 2 Ready Gels or hand cast 20 by 20 centimeter gels, install the 11 pieces of manifold tubing onto the black fittings on the manifold in the lid. This is necessary for efficient buffer circulation and cooling. The manifold tubing should not be used if running larger gels such as the Protean Plus precast gels or hand cast gels using the Protean Plus hinged spacer plates. When the lid is placed on the tank, ensure that the tubing sits in between the gel cassettes and extends into the buffer. For Lemley buffer system applications, the top of the gel cassette should be positioned next to the cathode identified by the black marker. The sample then migrates toward the anode identified by the red marker. The top of the cassette is where the IPG strip is placed. If using unhinged Protean 2 precast ready gels, be sure the grease side is down. To insert the gel cassette, either pre-wet the rubber gaskets by pouring some buffer directly over them or, if there is already buffer in the cell, dip the cassette into the buffer. This allows the gel cassette to slide into the tank more easily and helps prevent the gaskets from tearing. Ensure that the cassette is placed in between the gaskets. The cell is now ready to be filled with buffer. Make sure the buffer level is just below the height of the glass plates.